president of Bolivia has denounced the actions of, quote, violent groups hours after members of the police were seen siding with protesters. Evo Morales, Latin America's longest-serving leader, is facing accusations of vote-rigging in last month's presidential election, causing vast crowds to take to the streets. James Wilson tells us more. The first police rebellion broke out in the central city of Cochabamba, where officers took to the roof to express their anger. Unic then declared their mutiny in the southeastern city of Sucre and in the opposition stronghold of Santa Cruz. I publicly declare a police mutiny. We are rooted in the people, and the people are rooted in us. The mutiny is the first sign security forces are withdrawing support from President Evo Morales after a disputed election last month that has triggered riots in the country and which gave Morales a fourth term in office. Speaking to the press, Morales hit out at what he called a coup d'etat. I want to denounce to the Bolivian people and the entire world what is taking place. As you know, brothers of the press, it's a coup d'etat against a democratically elected government with more than 60% of votes in the last elections. However, claims of a coup were strongly denied by his defeated opponent, Carlos Mesa. Evo Morales continues to insist on a giant lie that a coup d'etat is underway here, and he aims to continue his argument built on that fallacy. Opposition supporters plan to lead a march to the government palace on Monday with a pre-written resignation letter for Morales to sign. Meanwhile, the government has said for now it has ruled out a military operation against rebellious police forces.